How are we doing, Bulls Nation? It's been a couple days since I posted as I was spending some time with my family over the holiday weekend and hope you enjoyed some time with yours as well. And it's a great day because we finally get to see some Bulls basketball in action with a game later this evening against the Pacers, which I'll have a live chat for that game as always. But we did get some breaking news earlier this morning that the Bulls have signed Chicago native Alfonso McKinney for the remainder of the season and have subsequently waived Alizé Johnson, which I'll admit I'm a little surprised by. Although at the same time, I guess uh, we should have seen this coming given the fact that Billy Donovan was prioritizing minutes for McKinney, a hardship exception player that they signed to a 10-day contract over their full-time roster spot in Alizé Johnson. And McKinney was actually very impactful in the time that he has been on the court. Only been three games, but still impactful in those limited minutes. But I am a little disappointed because I was pretty high on Alizé when they signed him this offseason and based on the performance that we saw from him in the preseason. Now, for Alizé, what I like seeing from him in the preseason was his hustle, his ability to crash the boards and snag rebounds over guys that were much bigger than him. Uh, he wasn't that gifted offensively, but he played with effort and fought hard on both ends of the floor. I mean, based on what we saw in the preseason, I honestly thought that Alizé was going to be in the Bulls rotation. And this was before Patrick Williams even got injured. Like I expected him to be the backup four behind Williams because again, he was really the only four on that team outside of Patrick. And once Williams got injured, I thought, hey, this is a great opportunity for Alizé to step up and show what he can do. But then of course, you saw Alizé falling out of the rotation, rarely getting minutes unless it was garbage time. And when you did see him on the court, he looked a little lost on offense. He would often get tunnel vision and focusing on rebounds rather than sticking with his man and following through on plays and switches. Anyway, a little disappointed because I don't feel that Alizé was given much of a chance to showcase what he can do and develop in this roster. However, all of that being said, I really do like this pickup of Alfonso McKinney, who has become the first player to sign a contract after being brought in from a hardship exception. And of course, it means even more when it's a Chicago kid joining the Bulls. And I'll likely have to do a dedicated video on McKinney at some point this season. But what we have seen from McKinney in the limited time that he's played with the Bulls, another big time hustle player, a guy who has taken advantage and made the most of his situation, signing with a team that he grew up watching to a hardship exception. He has showed up well in big moments when the Bulls needed him in hustling on defense, hitting some big shots, shooting well from outside. Like it's only been three games that he's played with the team, but shooting 50% from three on four attempts per game is pretty solid for a guy who's never really been known for his three-point shooting on his previous teams. So as sad as I am to see Alizé go, I'm happy with this pickup for the Bulls. McKinney likely isn't going to get many minutes now that all the Bulls are back in the lineup after having cleared the protocol. I don't see him cracking the rotation, but hopefully he can be that piece that gives the Bulls a little more depth at the three or four and another guy who can energize the team. Anyway, I just wanted to briefly share my thoughts on this breaking news. I want to know what you guys think of the Bulls waving Alizé Johnson and signing Alfonso McKinney for the remainder of the season. Don't forget, the Bulls have a game later tonight. Until then, as always, be sure to subscribe if you're a Bulls fan, as I do post daily Bulls content. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and I will catch you in the next one.